Your pool cleaner is designed with several elements. First, you have the power supply, which in essence is really a transformer. This transformer steps down your 110 volt electricity down to only 24 volts and draws a mere one amp. In translation, that equates to the, the equivalent of a light bulb, about two cents an hour. The 24 volts travels through the floating power cord, which is only about a half inch diameter, much different than the bulky hose that you may be familiar with. Going into the machine, the machine itself is encased in UV resistant, high impact ABS plastic. Internally, it's designed and engineered to have two separate components, what I like to consider the heart and soul of the machine. The heart, which would be the pump motor. The pump motor's purpose is simply to vacuum in debris, and once it's filtered, to exhaust the microfiltered water outside. The exhaust thrust enables the pool cleaner to stay up against the wall just by the power of the water coming out. Separately, there's a drive motor. In the drive motor, there's a microprocessor. The microprocessor is pre-programmed, enables them to clean this cleaner to clean any pool, regardless of shape, design, surface, whatever it may be. The drive motor, located in the side of the machine where the cable comes into the body, has a pulley that comes off of it. Off of the pulley are two belts, what we call drive belts. The first belt goes to the front roller, the second belt goes to the rear. Off of these belts are the wheel tube assemblies that have the big foot-long scrubbing brushes. As the drive motor rotates the pulley, it rotates the drive belts. And all together in concert, the foot-long scrubbing brushes begin to scrub and brush and drive the cleaner forward and separately reverse. This enables the cleaner to climb up walls, to scrub and loosen debris so that the pump can vacuum in the debris. The debris itself is taken in within the intake valves on the bottom side of the cleaner. These two large intakes will vacuum up all the debris, which goes right into the filter bag. And once it's filtered, to exhaust the microfiltered water outside. 